Hello guys and welcome, today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D printing services store website using Shopify. So first be sure you check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for one month one time deal. So without further ado, let's get going. First we're going to go over here on the top left to the product section and we're going to click on add product. Now we're going to start filling all the planks with our products information. For example, I'm going to start with my CAD AirPods holder. Now uh, I'm going to copy my title and here for the description I'm going to paste it right around here and I'm going to click on generate. This way I'm going, uh, Shopify is going to use its built-in AI to create a description for us and here we can either choose to generate the description again or just click here to keep the one we already have. For media we're going to click here on upload new and we're going to choose an image for our product. On our right we're going to have a product type, vendor, collections and tax section. For collections make sure you add your product to your home page and here in tax we're going to put for example 3D, we're going to put 3D prints. There you go. Now, below our uh, our media section, we're going to have a category section. Usually Shopify is going to choose a category for us and it's almost always going to be correct. But if it isn't, we can always click over here and change it if we so want it. Below it, we're going to have the pricing section. Let's say that we are going to charge around 40,000 pesos for this and our cost per item is going to be around the 25,000 pesos. This is going to leave us a 15,000 pesos profit at a 37.5% margin of profit. For inventory, we're just going to uncheck this because we are not going to keep track of it. And here we also have a weight section to assign weight to our product in case we're going to do any kind of shipping. So once we are done customizing our product, we're going to go over here on the bottom right and we're going to click on save. As you can see, if I go back, I would have my first product uploaded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add a product again. I'm going to keep uploading all of the products that I want on my online store. So I'll be back with you guys once I'm done. So as you can see guys here, I have added a bunch of new products, for example, my city's models, my cute small shark toy and a DNA pen holder. So once we are done uh, uploading all of our products, we are going to go to our online store and we are going to start to customize it. Now the first thing that we are going to be able to change is going to be its theme and if we go down you can see that we are going to have a bunch of different free themes for us to use and but if we want to shop for more of them we can click over here on visit theme store and we are going to be redirected to the Shopify theme store where we are going to be able to shop for a lot more uh, themes. Now some of these themes may better suit our website, but for me I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. So once we are back over here, we're going to click on customize. And here we're going to start customizing all of these sections of our website. Uh, now if we go over here on the right, we're going to uh, be able to click on select and we're going to choose an image to be our banner. For example, I'm going to choose this one and once it's done processing, I'm going to click here and as you can see, the background of our banner is going to be changed. Next, I'm going to click on our heading and we're going to change the text on the right over here. For example, I'm going to put welcome to my 3D printing uh, store website. There you go. Now, let's say that we want to add a new section to our website. What we're going to do is we're going to click here on add section and we're going to have a bunch of different options. For example, a featured collection, a featured product, collection list, etc, etc. For me, I'm just going to choose a featured product and here on the bottom, on the top right, I'm going to click on select and we're going to choose one of our products to be displayed. For example, I'm going to choose my city's models and as you can see uh, here, the new product is going to be displayed on our new section. Now, let's say that we want to change things up a bit. For example, we're going to change the color scheme of this section and we're going to choose a nice dark theme. Another thing that can happen to us is that we have added a new section by mistake. For example, I'm going to click over here and I'm going to add a featured collection. Now, if we want to delete this section, what we're going to do is make sure we have this section selected and we're going to go over here on the bottom right and we're going to click on remove section. This way, this section is going to be completely removed. 
We can also add sections to our footer over here. We can add an email sign up and a custom liquid. And here for our header, we can also add a custom liquid or an announcement bar. Another very important thing about our header is going to be that right around here where it says my store, our store's name is going to be displayed. So in order to change it, what we're going to do is we're going to save our changes. We're going to exit. We're going to go to the home page of Shopify. We're going to click here on name your store. We're going to click on name store. And here we're going to be able to change our store's name. I'm just going to put, for example, a 3D printing. And I'm going to save my changes. So now, in order to make sure that everything is correct, we're going to go back to our online store. But instead of clicking on customized, we're going to click on the three dots, preview. And this is going to redirect us to our website where we're going to be able uh, to see uh, that our store's name is going to be changed. We can scroll down to make sure that everything else is set up just the way we want. And once we are done customizing and checking out our website, we're going to go back over here in order to go to the analytics and marketing section. And next, we're going to go over here to the analytics section. Now, this is going to be a really important section for us, guys, because here we're going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value, and many different things, such as, for example, uh, which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers, among many, many other things and uh, information which is going to really help us manage and customize our website and our business all from the same place. Lastly, I wanted to show you the discount section here. If we go to discount, I'm going to click on add discount. We are going to choose an amount of products and here we're going to be able to customize our own discount for our online store. For example, here we can choose the code. Let's say we're well, going to put code 101. Or we can just click over here and a Shopify is going to provide us a random code for us. Below it, we can choose which kind of discount it's going to be, either a fixed amount or a percentage amount. I'm going to choose a percentage and let's say we're going to have a 10% discount. Below it, we can choose which uh, collections our discount is going to apply to. For example, um, we are going to click on Browse and I'm going to choose the products of my homepage collection. If we keep going down, you can see that we have uh, more options to further customize our discounts, such as if we need any minimum purchase requirements for it, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of uses it has, the combinations, and lastly here, if we click on set end date, we can choose an expiration date for our discount. For example, I'm going to choose the 29th and here I'm going to click save discount. Now we would have our first discount ready to either post on social media, maybe gift to a friend or just use however we would like. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check the link in the description for a three days free trial of Shopify and also that $1 for one month one time deal. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.